it's a corkscrew the way it's cutting. Mm -hmm. Now what I do is start with a block like this, and it'll oh boy, it'll cut that down. Um, pretty neat machine to watch run. I mean, I've seen it thousands of times make decoy bodies. I've turned other things. I've turned snowmen. I've turned. Uh, I'm trying to think fish, different things. Other folks have carved. Okay. I was asked, what kind of wood is it? Most of this in here is white pine. Um, no. Most of the bodies I make out of white pine. There is some eastern white cedar. I don't know if there's any in here. And there's some polonia. I don't know if you're familiar with that. It's an exotic wood that grows here now. Scapee. Um, but generally white pine. If you look at the white pine, what I try to do is cut so it's clear of all the knots. When you get white pine, if you actually, I, I don't know who parked on this side, you walk by some big logs, that's how the wood starts. I get it as trees. Uh, most of it I get from the tree trimmers, and uh, they, they know how I want it sawed. What I want is it sawed right through the knots instead of Everybody wants to saw a white pine, they want to saw it right through the soft spot, the nice narrow soft spot. Well, that just ruins it for me if you leave a, the knot right in the middle. That'll always bleed through the paint. Mm -hmm. So, I don't want the knots. And once I get the wood, the first step I do is determine what that length is between the knots will determine what size bird I can get. You, different birds have different lengths or sizes. And then I'll split the block in half and get it small enough that I can actually handle it and we'll take it over. We'll chainsaw it to get the rough blocks and then we'll take it inside and use that big bandsaw that's in there. This particular block is quarter saw. Quarter saw is not the best for a decoy, it's actually going to float. Um, slab saw is much better. I don't know if one, yeah, here's one right here where the heart would be right down the center. That's much better, it actually float correctly. This, if it's quarter saw, has more weight on one side than the other. It wants to float crooked. Uh, there's actually a direction. Never thought about that. Yeah. And also, when I put it in the machine, I try and put the heart in the top of the block so it actually sands smoother than the, the outside tend to be more weighted. Do you mark them then as far as if you have two or something that's not to be the gunny decoy? Actually, I have, there's a, there's a note on birds right there that say, these are for gunner birds if I need them. I can use them the other way, but yeah. I, I do mark them, yes. Perfect. Because you don't get as many that are... You know, when you're sawing out a great big log, yeah. you may not get all of them or slab. They may be, depending on what the best utilization of the block of wood is. Okay. Um, I'm going to start this up. It gets loud. I don't know whether all of you want to stay in here or not. I do. This does have dust collection in this room, so most of it goes outside. There's a little bounces around, and actually, <laughs> one of the one of the hoses is off. So it's something we couldn't fix while it was still cold. <laughs> the tape would stick. Uh, I'll start it up, let it run, and uh, let's see how it makes it go. Let's see, that's on. This is dust collection. stop when it gets to the end. So I can be doing something else. I will hedge or something else. Or read. There's a couple books there. We read while it's running or whatever. <laughs> Takes about five to seven minutes to actually turn a body. Nothing at all like my lady. I can jump the speed, <laughs> the way it's running. I can jump past 
Yeah. 